first bell rings at 8.25, which means we need to go to our lockers and get all the books we need for the first three periods. The second bell rings at 8.30, which means we have to line up outside our homerooms waiting for our teacher. During homeroom, our teacher marks the roll and reads a morning prayer. The teacher also reads out the morning notices and checks our uniforms. We have seven lessons a day that each go for 45 minutes and we have two lunch breaks. During first lunch, I usually go to the tuck shop, collect my food and go back to M Block to eat it. After that, if we have a bit of spare time, I play handball with my friends or do something else. During second lunch, what I like to do is go and get sports equipment and then I like to either go play in the Oval or in the SMC. In the SMC, we can either play basketball or the girls can play netball or any variety of other stuff. Um, also, we can go to the tuck shop and get some snacks. We also have the library open to us if we want to study or read a book quietly. On Wednesdays, in P1, we also have board games to play. We have four religion lessons in a week and once a term we go to the chapel for Mass. Throughout the year, we celebrate Masses and liturgies as a whole school in the SMC. At the start of the year, everyone receives a student diary where they can write in their important dates and when their assessments are due. Our parents need to sign our diaries because they need to see our assessments, our homework we have and our important notices. In the back of our diary, we also store our assessment planner and our timetable. When we are late for school, we take out a diary to student reception to get signed in as late. On the first day of school, your homeroom teacher will allocate you a locker. In our lockers, we keep our exercise books and folders, diary and pencil case and our Chromebook. It's good to keep your lockers clean and organised so you can quickly gra grab your stuff and head off to class. For your locker, you will need to bring a lock. If you bring a key lock, you will need to give one key to your homeroom teacher and keep the other key somewhere safe. If you bring a combination lock, all you will need to remember is your code. Make sure to bring your key every day, otherwise maturity will come with the bolt cutters. At Gilroy, we have three different houses. Macaulay, which is yellow, Rice, which is red, and Omara, who is blue. Throughout the year, we have three carnivals, which are swimming, cross country and athletics and we usually wear our house colours. We, we always need to make sure we participate in these carnivals to get our team points. Homework is nothing to stress about. It's normally just revision work from class that needs to be completed by the next day. At Gilroy, if we ever need help during our assignments, we can usually go to the teacher in class and if we still need to get more work on it, then we can go to tutoring on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Teachers are also available at the library at second lunch if you want to complete your homework or work on assessments. Every Thursday in period three, you will either have a whole school assembly or a year level assembly. For this, you will need to bring your pencil and diary so you can write down important dates. At Gilroy, we have two different uniforms, a formal and a sport. We are able to wear the sport uniforms on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and formal on Tuesdays and Thursdays. At Gilroy, we also have to bring our hats every day to make sure that we are sun safe. Under the hats, we also have our house colours. Don't worry about friendships. There's lots of opportunities to make new friends, even if you're from other schools. At the end of the year, you'll have orientation day. And then in term one, you will go on camp, which is all about making new friends. If you need any support, you're always free to ask your homeroom teacher pastoral leader or guidance counsellor for help.